My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. My name is Mita and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello, hi. And I will be sure to comment back and show you lots and lots of love, guys. If you like my content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. Engagement is engagement and we invited all Miss Dane. Okay? Okay. <laughs> if you like my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload Miss Dane. Okay? Ah. Uh. Hola, como esta? How you guys doing? Sex! Oh my God, guys. I have been out of commission. You guys know this pandemic has been crazy, girl. Crazy. And I know a lot of people going through it. And I really just haven't been able to come on here and be the best version of myself during all this madness. Okay, things are about to start going back to normal in New York City soon very soon and i'm very happy about that guys because for the past couple of months i have just been in the only depression and just struggling with my mental illness guys it's been tough um i've been keeping busy with projects i don't know if you guys saw my last video but i will be sure to put it up in the cards so you guys can check it out i renovated daniel's room from avengers to anime and it just came out spectacular like i love love his room i plan on renovating my kitchen next because my kitchen looked like crap girl for the longest how you got all the bathrooms looking nice with me and then you go in the kitchen and it looks horrible like horrible all right girl so i'm gonna make sure to record that as well today's video guys is basically what i did was i wanted to create a special piece for daniel's room um, I don't know if you guys know about anime, but anime, I've learned a lot um, while remodeling Daniel's room. I didn't know much about anime, but I had to research and find stuff. And, you know, it was a journey. It was a journey. But your girl got it done. I got it done. Um, so I saw, I'm going to post a picture here. I saw this picture and it was ranging, I think it was like $130. I don't know. I'll put it right here so you guys can see. And... I was inspired. I was like, hold on, that is a great idea. However, I didn't like the fairy lights in it because I felt like it wasn't solid. And it, you know, like the cartoons, the lights are usually solid when they're throwing those balls at each other, like whatever, power balls or whatever. Um, so I wanted to recreate this in my own version, but this was my inspiration. Um, and I wanted to create it in a larger scale. Cool, cool. But, <laughs> but you say. What? What you say? <laughs> I wanted to create it on a much larger scale, guys. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to basically make like a light show of anime characters kind of battling to be Daniel's favorite in his room, you know? Then I kind of get I did a little tribute on the bottom that was kind of funny towards the Avengers where I put all their heads and I'm like rest in peace. <laughs> it, it came out way better than I thought it was. I have a bandage here. I got burned pretty bad using the glue gun. So there's a part where, um, I think stage three, well, I didn't get to record a lot, but I did fill you guys in on what, um, was updated and what I did. It was hard for me to film as I was doing this project guys, because this project was such labor. Like, it really took a lot out of me guys to, to to get this project done so it's like setting up a tripod putting the camera making sure i'm an angle it would have been way too much like way too much and then with everything that i've been going through girl i was just trying to stay busy and get my mind and at the same time kind of vlog for you guys so if anybody else wanted to try to do it you know this project did come out to maybe i would say 500 dollars or more um anime is really expensive and the materials that i bought but i think for what I paid, I think I got a good, um, I got an awesome product. You know what I mean? I think if this was purchased, it would be in the $1,000, $1,500 range, um, just because of all the labor that was put into this work of arts. So guys, let me stop rambling, guys. I miss you. I love you guys. I will be doing a get ready with me this week. I'm not sure when, probably Friday probably missing yeah most likely friday i will be doing a get ready with me 
and we will be using my new ColourPop palette that came in the mail. So I will see you guys then. Um, enough babbling me da. Let's get into this video. I hope you're all staying safe and I love you. I am starting the project for Daniel's room. And as you guys can see, I am using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Premium Latex Paint in semi-gloss black. And I will have all the measurements for everything in the description bar. Um, I will title this Anime um, Battle Royale um, project, and that will be in the description. Um, I will list all the materials, and if they're not available at a certain website, I will be sure to list something similar, okay? So for right now, we're just getting everything painted. So yeah, I'm painting this all black. I have to flip it, paint the other side. That is the base that is painted already. And then I have two blocks over there. This is all, um, this is all reused wood, reclaimed wood, I think it's called. Um, and my husband just doubled up on the wood to make it thicker and more sturdy for the project that I'm going to do. And I am painting it all black, so it looks nice, okay? And that's it for right now. When we move on to phase two, uh, I will keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so this is the finished big board. I still have to flip it and I have to paint the other side as you can see there. But basically, these two little cubes here are kind of going to go up here. But there's going to be like people in the air fighting. It'll all make sense once you guys see the backdrop. Okay. And then this is base. So this is basically going to come up over here. Um, this is a video I'm going to have to show you guys step by step what I'm doing because I don't have all the products right now. Due to the coronavirus, everything's coming really slow, which is fine. I understand people need to get food first and I'm okay with that. So I just decided to start working on it. Being that it's such a big project, guys, I really wanted to work on it now. Okay, okay update on the anime project, guys. So all I did was I took aluminum foil and I kind of made molds out of them for rocks. And I inserted the plaster. It's been in there one day. So tomorrow I'm going to, well, two days. I got to leave it in for two more days, for three days, three to four days. So it solidifies it's still a little soft as you can see i can still push in so we don't want that and then i kind of experimented over here with smaller ones and just kind of this long thing where i kind of wanted coming out of the ground and going over the character so we're gonna see how that goes um these are some of the characters this is my least favorite one only because he's so freaking small i like this one and this one i will link where i got all these characters guys so don't worry Right now, I am going through the glue process and I'm simply just gluing everything down because it's really like just moving all over. The stuff doesn't click to the base. So I need it to click to the base. So what I did was I glued the switch over here because this is a light. As you can see, that lights up. I'm gonna put the lights inside. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just securing all the figures. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention this backdrop for this scenery I got from a eBay seller called AJ. I will link his store in the description down below. You can message him and order a size. Um, I sent him this picture off Google um, and he did this custom for me. You can send him any picture, give him any size and he will give you a quote. This is woven paper. Um, he does have higher quality paper, but I opted out for the woven paper. Um, I used a paintbrush and I painted on Elmer's glue, um, covering the entire board. And I let it dry for a little till it became extremely tacky. And then I laid down the woven paper and then I cut off the excess. Okay, guys. So I'll be sure to link his store in the description down below. He also did Daniel's mural in his room on the wall that you saw. Um, so yeah i highly recommend I him guys he's great tell you what i did because i think i skipped a few steps after i painted the base and i put the backdrop in the back my husband installed these two by fours just to give it more security because i knew this was going to be top heavy because we are adding additional characters to the top so this is what the background looks like now what i've done is i use glue i use glue and I glued the outside on. I put some stones in there to cover the LED lights 
So let me just show you. Hold on. It lights up, as you can see. And all the LED lights were showing, so I put some stones to just cover that up. Um, then there's this one, and I moved them a little over because I'm not sure if I want to put the light on this side or on this side. Um, so down here, I put my first layer of plaster and kind of just plastered in these pieces. And um, yeah, I will be adding additional plaster down here and kind of decorating it um, as I go. And then I'm going to paint everything black. As you can see, the base is black. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to paint those two by fours in the back black as well. So if you come over here to the window, this was just a test run. And what I'm trying to create is just like little mountain rocks or whatever. And then this is just, you know, experiment. Uh, I'm going to see if I could get that um, to kind of come up from here and go over like that. We shall see. We shall see. We do not know. We do not know. I could even have it vice versa coming the other way. So let's see what happens. I will be adding additional characters, the sky, the clouds, all that other stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Yeah. Oh, this one also lights up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was doing this video, guys, because as you can see, there is a mini switch back there, and it was pushed all the way that way. I would have never been able to reach that switch, okay? So now I'm just going to hit the switch and show you guys that this guy lights up. So as you can see, so dope, guys. So dope. Um, and now I'm just going to shut him off. I really shouldn't be messing with this right now because it's wet. So we're just going to let that dry, and I will get back to work tomorrow after all this is dry okay bye guys -bye. Uh, so what i did was the rocks are still over there drying but i wanted to get a start on this so what i did was my husband added plaster of paris to the compound and it made it just thicker that I was able to mold. So I made balls of aluminum foil, set them down, and then just kind of sculpted around the aluminum foil ball. So as you can see, and then I took an old character my son had and just kind of made this like dead body parts and stuff, you know? So this is what it looks like. All of this is gonna get painted black though. Um, when it cracks, I did also, I did little swirls with my finger in the ground. So now we're just going to let this dry. It will crack. Um, it will start to crack and where it does crack, I am going to fill with a uh, red polymer clay, but I'm going to paint it first, then fill with red polymer clay. Cause could you imagine like if I put red polymer clay and then try to paint around it, forget it. That would be crazy. Not going to do it. So. Yeah, this is what it looks like so far. This is from the side. So as you see, they're like little mountains, little rocks. They're not huge, but that's okay. I just wanted to fill the space because we only have two characters down here. And as you can see, the space is really big. So I just kind of wanted to fill up the space to make it like a whole scene. Okay. Now we're just going to let it dry and see how it looks tomorrow. Wish me luck. Okay, guys, so this is the next day. This is, you hear that? This is hard as heck. While I'm pretty sure these are still soft. So as you can see that, I could squish that in. So that was a fail. Um, that'll probably take like a week to dry. Um, I recommend if you are doing something like this to just put the aluminum foil bowls and just um do a mold i mean put the aluminum balls and then just scope around it um i also recommend you adding the plaster of paris to your all-purpose joint compound um because it dries a lot faster as you can see it's already dry i might take a flathead screwdriver and kind of make some cracks and stuff i don't know as of yet, what I'm trying to create is, it's anime, right? So it's fictional. So you have to create like some type of fictional scene 
Um, so here I am creating kind of like this wave that's going to go over or maybe out more because I don't want to take away too much from the character. So it might just be like that. And this is basically, basically just going to be him about to do a move and causing um, all the rocks to move up in kind of a wave formation. So I have these, look, let me show you. These are wire hiders. You can get them at Home Depot and it's just like to hide your wires. And I cut it and it comes out into two pieces because it's two pieces, not that one, but the other one I used had two pieces. So I just took a Nike box, I cut the top, and I used a glue gun, and now I'm going to glue the other piece. And then I'm gonna use this as my foundation to plaster on it so that it'll hold the plastic, because plaster is very heavy. Okay? okay? Okay guys, so as you can see, I covered up the backdrop to make sure it doesn't get messed up. I've already started the painting process, but I just wanna show you what I did here, created like a wave. You can see kind of like the floors picking up and going over. Um, some little mountains, some swirls. Of course, we got the Avengers here. We're going to add a piece of each of them and then a sign that says rest in peace because his room used to be Avengers. And so this is the anime takeover. And then over here, we kind of made these three states kind of looking like he's raising the ground. Um, and yeah, this is what we got so far, guys. Now I am painting to make the whole bottom black. So guys, an update. I have painted the whole scene. I still have some touch-ups I have to do. So I will be doing that. I also might highlight with some dual chrome mica. Um, so yeah, I still gotta add Thor's hammer. Uh, I made the holes. These are what the holes are for, for like lights, different colors. This is a blue light. This is Goku doing the Kamehameha. Then we have Vegeta. We're going to have another one over here. Right now, I'm just cutting the edge of the paper. Uh, I already did this one. And I got to say, guys, this is coming out phenomenal. So let me just show you guys. Um, I took a small piece of wood and we screwed it in. This is what the back looks like. I still have to paint all of this because I want it to be nice and cohesive. It's what the back looks like. Um, so as you can see here, this is where my husband drilled three screws so that this platform could hold. I have all the switches on the outside, all these characters I got from AliExpress, in case you guys are wondering. So he lights up. And then this one uh, lights up as well. And then this one. lights up as well so this one i'm gonna put the bulb right next to him because he's like the only one that doesn't light up so i thought this would be kind of cool if his is right next to him kind of help that a little now we're gonna have ruby hanging down here and then the clouds and lightning and thunder it's gonna look awesome guys like this is coming out so awesome but i do feel like the bottom needs some highlights um it's just flat black i mean we have different textures here or I did like more Leos, I did some small rocks, um, I did the ground coming up from Midoriya, and I also did this wave, um, so yeah guys, I'm pretty excited. Let me just give you a quick overview. We are at stage two with this project, so yeah, I'm going to paint and cut the paper. <laughs> Excuse me, paint, cut the paper. And I'm going to leave it and I will come back tomorrow and insert all the bulbs. Okay? Okay. Just a quick update. I have these crystals that you can get at Dollar Tree or at your local dollar store. That's where I got them. And I usually use it to fill my vase. But I don't really have use for it. So, I use them in the figures to conceal. It also adds a little bit more illumination because they're clear. So as you can see, it gave it like an, an orange tone, so it made it look more like fire, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I also put it here, and basically I put these to add some more dimension, as well as to conceal the hot glue that was under there. And then 
this one, as you can see, they glow. And now I have just did these guys. This is how he's gonna be. He doesn't have lights. However, I might have a ball of light that I could just stick in here and it might illuminate some of it. So we'll see. But he does actually light up. This is Goku. the crystals kind of glow from the light that's already there so it looks really cool and then I added some plaster to the bottom just so it looks cohesive and then I painted it same thing with uh, this one so wait let me move him over here so you guys can get a better look at this down here first I hot glued him to this small piece of wood like this i made extras in case i needed this is a small piece of wood i glued him i painted this first then i glued him on then i added plaster all around and then i painted it black and then over here we have some missing spaces here it's like some empty spaces so that's where i put the hold on let me let me just turn this off real quick so you guys can see and I put these, so if I turn them around, you guys can see how this is empty here. This is going to the back, so I didn't feel like I needed to put crystals there because you're not gonna see that. Um, but as you can see, I filled in those spaces and it just looks more awesome and animated. So yeah guys, this is where we're at. I have made the holes as to where the fixtures will go and it's just gonna be balls, different colors of light kind of looking like they're fighting then what else did i update oh these are the avengers because this room used to be avengers so it's like you know r.i.p avengers anime took over the room now so this is just kind of like an inside joke that i did there um and this is what we're working with so far so we still have ways to go i will update you guys um as this project progresses it is taking a long time it took a lot of money and i put my heart and soul into this i hope daniel really loves it and appreciates it for a long time and gets a lot of um joy out of it updates i have put the light fixtures just to show you guys what light fixtures they're just regular light fixtures that come with a switch and a plug i got on amazon i'll try to link everything in the description down below these are wi-fi bulbs so I could change the color. So I'm gonna just turn it on to give you guys um, an overview of what's going on here so far. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. I wish you guys could really see the light. It's not coming off on camera as bright as it is in person. That's really green and on camera, it's like kind of fleshed out white. That's really blue and that's really yellow. Um, and this is how it looks so far. And then I have stage three where I would do the clouds kind of like thunderstorming and then I would do Broly kind of floating up into the clouds. So yeah, I did the bulbs. I programmed them to the color I wanted. I'm so sorry, it sucks you guys can't really see the color. Let me see if I'm on back. I'll see if I take a picture and it comes out in a picture guys. What I did was I leveled, like I pushed the out the what can we call i pushed out the light fixture to where i wanted it and i felt it met up with the character's hand so you can see the line of the blue you see the line of the yellow yeah so that's the original color it doesn't look white like that off camera so i'm sorry about that um that you guys can't really see the effect so i wrapped it with some electrical tape and then inside i painted it black so it kind of just doesn't stand out but this is how i leveled them if you can see they're all leveled differently according to the character so these are more flush to the wall as opposed to these that are more 3d kind of popping out if you can see in person it looks so much better than it does on this video camera guys i'm really sorry um i will be recording um stage three i'll probably be doing stage three tomorrow i'm exhausted guys so stage two is complete and tomorrow we will start on stage three i did glue the uh fixtures in the back so they don't move and i did buy an outlet 
and I'm gonna shorten these wires, um, just kind of tie them up with electrical tape and we're going to mount the extension cord back here. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. The finished product, this is the cloud. I don't know if I could get a really good, cause everything's lighting up so you can't really see the cloud that well. And then these are the balls, this is the whole scenery. Turn on the light they want, maybe I can see it better in the light. So these are the clouds. For some reason, my camera doesn't pick it up that good, but I promise you guys, it looks gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous. It looks like lightning going through the clouds. Then we have all the figures, and of course, they all light up. I already showed you guys. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys how I did the clouds, but you can see here, I got burned pretty bad with the glue gun. So there's that. So back here, as you can see, I made, I had some extra um, stick and I glue gunned it to the top of the four by four, uh, two by four. Um, I use lanterns, but if you notice, I squished them in the back cause this is going against the wall. So yeah, I don't want that to interrupt my, my son's, um, the back. So yeah, this is how everything is wired in the back. I put an extension cord, my husband screwed it in, and he fixed all the wires for me, so they're nice. He even put screws, so they're held in pretty tightly. Um, so everything's nice and neat back here. And then here's the wire. I have to tie this wire up with some masking tape. I mean some um, electrical tape. And these are the lights, as you can see. They kind of like rain down. I like those because it gives the effect of, um, I'm going to turn off all the other lights and see if you guys can get a good look at these clouds because for some reason I, I think it has to be dark. There you go. Now you can see the clouds. So you see that? But we can see it. We can actually see it even with the other lights on, but for some reason the camera doesn't pick it up. So that's what the clouds look like. I really love it, guys. It came out really, really nice. It's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so it came out pretty, pretty nice. I look like crap and I'm in a lot of pain, guys. My arm is really, really hurting me. So it's kind of welting up. Okay. All right, guys. That's what my arm looks like. It looks horrible. I don't know how I let that happen. I just wanted to update you guys. My burn is doing a lot better. But I also add, added some pigments, guys. So I want to show you with the light on so you can see. I brushed pigment on with a makeup brush. Kind of give it all that nice reflect. And what I used was my Smolder Cosmetics. Sorry. Smolder Cosmetics in the shade Emerald City. And I used that with a makeup brush. And what I did was I sprayed the uh, Got To Be hairspray and mixed it with the mica and then just rubbed it on everything and it really adhered and took to it. Um, we also have here No Man's Land. It's a sign that I put up it just as a finishing touch. And we are pretty much done, guys. I will show you the reveal when I reveal it to Daniel. But I'm going to go get rest now because I'm in a lot of pain. Hello, Daniel. Daniel? Yes? You fell asleep, honey? I was waiting, that's why. So we're about five seconds till going in. Okay. Uh, What do you think it is? No clue. No clue? Not even a little? Mm -mm. No clue. You got no guesses? You got nothing for me? All I want to do is just see what the heck it is that you've been working on. How long have I been working on this? For almost a month now. Nope. Actually, for three months. Three months? Yeah. Oof. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. So, you ready? I'm nervous! Ah! Alright. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Well, guys, don't open them until I tell you to. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. <coughs> okay, you're gonna stand right, here Mita, you gotta move, the though. whole time of the presentation, okay? Okay. Right. 
dare you get a fan. Okay. Okay, now open them. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what? <laughs> so, a long time ago, this room used to be Avengers. But then the animes came along, right? And they cast a spell on them. And what they did was they shrunk them and they took them to no man's land. And that's all their heads and their arms. <laughs> What the hell? And so now, and as you can see, it says Avengers R.I.P. <laughs> and so now, the animes are battling to become your favorite. Who wants to be, Dan who's gonna be Daniel's favorite anime character out of these five? So, first here, down here in the bottom. Oh wait, hold on, it's paper, I'm sorry. Down here, in the bottom right, we have Dora. This is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, Technical difficulty. What happened? Hold on. So, in the bottom right, we have. Did you turn the big box on? Midoriya. Midoriya. Midoriya just blasted. Towards Naruto. Not only does Midoriya's ball light up, but also his face lights up. That is so awesome. And he is shooting towards Naruto. But Naruto isn't going to take that from him. <laughs> so Naruto shoots back. And he's also performing some type of special move here that I'm not too familiar with. Let me just let you know that all of this was sculpted by me. All, all of that was sculpted by you? All that this wall. base, this wave you see coming up, I sculpted all of that. Out of paper? No, or? out of plaster. Yeah. Wow. As well as I painted it, <laughs> and I also added highlights, which Dad told me to do, and it came out beautiful. That is awesome. Okay? And this is no man's land. As you can see, we have body parts here. <laughs> This see. is where men come to battle. Uh, see. And do you recognize that background? That's the background that I chose for the yeah. for, for a scene. And now uh, we have Goku and Vegeta practicing course. to become the best. Of course. But also practice they, they're fighting to become your favorite. Of course. So in this corner, we have How did you even Goku. make his skin like that? <laughs> And then <laughs> Goku's blasting a ball at Vegeta, but Vegeta's not going to take that. <laughs> How's that for? So then Vegeta... Me thought you pushing it. And then you got Vegeta. See his ball blasts the ball back. Cool, right? Cool. Okay? And then... It's time for shit to get real. <laughs> Here comes the finale. What is this? Hold on, let me close the door. Go ahead. Say what? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? A cloud with lightning. Say what? You hear thunder? That is so cool. Wow. And now, Broly and Vegeta, they need your help. Because they need to power up the way Goku, Midoriya, and Naruto are. So here, we have what I call Daniel's Power Balls. So you have to take these Power Balls and you have to power them up. And so how you do that basically, is you're going to pull this tab out, pull it out, and there you go. So you're going to put that one into Vegeta's base. So we can power him up. Go. So I just gotta put it in? Yeah. So you're gonna put it in here. 
not hold it. Behind them, maybe, right? They can glow. Did you put the light down, Dada? In the lights? It goes to the stones, you see it? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, look at that. <coughs> hey, nice, baby, right there. It's perfect. You can't see it from here. No? Nope. Okay. It's perfect. Looks like the rest of it. This is how I see it, amazing. Now we're missing a green. Hopefully that's it. That too. Damn it. Oh my God. All right. Yes. yes. Thank God. Yeah, that would have sucked, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's glowing into the. That's good. That is so cool. That's awesome, baby. And this I present to you, the anime room takeover. The anime room takeover. <laughs> what do you think? This is out. Of, uh, this is this is. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I literally don't know what to say. It's just wow. <laughs> yeah, mommy outdid herself. It's wow. You outdid just, yourself. Just wow. You're a great artist. Thank you. Wow. Now, when you turn off the other lights, here, hold this. When you turn off these lights, you can really see the clouds. Oh, uh, I get you. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Can you see? Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 